So, I some loyalties to the test, right? Because obviously you went to this school, your wife may have gone to this school, right. your friend went to this school, and is putting some loyalties to test even in Sacramento's highest office. That's right. We're <laughs> welcomed right now by Mayor Daryl Steinbart, a UCLA alum. So you got a little bit of conflict going uh, on here. I, I am so conflicted, but not <laughs> really. First of all, I get to root for the Bruins here in Sacramento. But in Los Angeles, um, it's easy for me, actually. But I do remember being a 20-year-old student at UCLA and sleeping all night at Poly Pavilion <laughs> so that I could be first in line for tickets. So wow. I love the Bruins. But when it comes to the Hornet women against the UCLA women, despite my UCLA alumni status, my loyalty is clear. I am the mayor of Sacramento, and I am rooting for the Hornets. Right. Absolutely. Awesome. Stingers up all the way. I was just going to say all the way. Absolutely. So Ab we've got to ask you about the centerpiece behind us, obviously, Golden One Center. We came so close to losing the Kings. We came so close to never having this built. Is it too much to say without this arena, downtown would be a heck of a lot more dead? There's no question about it. I mean, this was a pivotal moment in Sacramento history. Um, and Vivek Ranadive and Kevin Johnson and the city council and local leadership helped save the Kings. I played a role myself. I was in the Senate at the time, was the pro tem, and we passed the big bill to make sure that the people from Seattle could not sue and steal the team. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I, I was proud to play a role there too. But it has been a complete game changer. And, you know, we've gone through some tough times here, right? I mean, mm -hmm. we've gone through a couple of years of COVID. Um, a lot of the state and local workforce are not back downtown. Uh, the downtown has its challenges. Right. But I will tell you, the, the future is bright. And in large part because we chose uh, to build the Golden One Center and all that is around it. And I was yeah. saying earlier, Sacramento is becoming a sports and festival city. We're, we're sports crazy. I mean, in a good way. By the way, we're still fighting for Major League Soccer. Good. Keep it uh, I, I, don't exactly. have, I won't have news until I have news. But um, think about the Kings and what's happening. You think about this weekend with the NCAA. Mm -hmm. And then you add to that the non-sports stuff, the festivals. Right. Um, the country concert the that country we just concert, had. All of it, right? It's, it's about vitality. You come down to downtown Sacramento. Uh, on a Friday or Saturday night, you know, and tough to get a restaurant reservation. Right. You see people out having a good time. Yep. That's what we want more of. And that's what we're, and we're getting. We're, it for what sure. we're getting it. Before we're go, we let you go, though, we want to see your bracket. Yeah, we're, we're going to go from the high of what you just talked about, <laughs> the positivity, to, <laughs> to, to your bracket. bracket. To my bracket. Because we, we've got I, it right I, here. you got it right here. So, yeah. you know. You got I, UCLA, obviously. I got UCLA. So I mean, and, if, and if, the, if you gave me the women's bracket, which maybe I should fill out. Mm -hmm. I'll have the Hornets. <laughs> okay. uh, but, um, yeah, i got to root for the UCLA men here. Um, it, it's such a great tradition. And uh, I just am I'm really happy that uh, they're in my city. And uh, who knows what will happen. But no matter what, it's a great time of year. March Madness. Baseball season's about to start. The Kings have the second best record in the Ooh, Western Conference. Beam team. So let's go with uh, let's go with a lot of a lot of positivity yeah. huh? and have fun, we everybody, like it. this weekend. We yeah. like it. Mayor, thank you so much. It's been thank great you, to have you thank here. Thank you so much. All right, Mr. Bear, thank you for your thank time. You.